I'm trying to catch me if I need help. Nobody gon' say I'm never on the person I'm talking to lately. Rockin' these shit. Guys, this is the sub I never knew I needed. I'm trying to get on the I'm trying to get on to doing one video a week, but try is the three letter word for fail, and I'm failing right now. We're gonna get on one video a week, but it just is it's just not this week. It's it's not gonna it could actually. Since the last video, a lot of things have changed. I now do have an addiction to slim chickens, and I think it's the cayenne ranch sauce. So we're going to give last time you guys were with me, I got the chicken sandwich, which was pretty good. But we went with the fried chicken wrap. I'm saying 8.5 out of 10. They didn't give me no napkins. So, Wrigley, hey. So, Wrigley, what do you think about the subwoofer? Since my last video on the mods under $500, I got to thinking, I was like, you know, I haven't really done anything to the truck modification wise to like change it up to give it a new little new spunk or something like that. I don't know, but I ordered something for the truck. It'll be here tomorrow. In the last video, I said I wasn't going to change it, and then I changed it. I started researching it. The bad thing about the internet is you'll start researching things, right? And then you'll research, like, something that, just anything that intrigues your mind, right? So then when you start researching it, you start, you know, obsessing about it, and you start thinking you need it. When had you just not actually researched that item, you probably would have never bought it in the first place. But here we are. I started researching and I ordered it. So it'll be here tomorrow. I'm gonna make a video on it. We'll probably do a little installation video. It's, I mean, it's super easy. We're not gonna let you guys know until you, the new video drops. So the last thing I think I've done to the truck was these tires right before winter. The Kenda Cleavers, I think they're the RTs. Yeah, the RTs and they are awesome. In the snow, they hook up, but we're not here to talk about tires, we are here to talk about. So this is the Sony 700 watt speaker sub. Comes factory in the truck with the Sony sound system. Going to the kicker sound gate system, it was like this wasn't even working. It, there, it just did not seem like there was any bass. I'm sure there was, but it just did not seem like anything. This one's a eight inch. The Sony, this one's a 10 inch with the amplifier. Since it is a little wider, I do have the WeatherTech floor mats, right? Well, you can see I had to custom cut that because it's just generally wider. So even over here on this side, I had to cut to make fit. Everything fits. It's almost like a factory install. I mean, it's just the perfect minimalistic clean upgrade and it actually does thump. Like, I don't think I've ever had a vehicle with actual like 212s or 215s, a kicker solar barrack. I never really cared to, but I do like my rock music to beat when I'm driving. So couldn't be any happier with this. We are actually gonna head out. I'm gonna go home, grab a tool, and we're going to remove this just to show you guys what the underside looks like. Fits perfect, no issues, seat comes down. It's just a it's just the literally the it, it's the best speaker in my opinion to keep it clean, keep space, do it, get it, get it. Wrigley, where'd you go? Hey, are you driving? You driving today? He's not driving. So before we get any further into this, me and Wrigley are gonna go hit up Shields real quick. It's 96 degrees out, that's what the truck says. I know the heat index is like over 100 right now. I don't know. Wrigley, should we go get a car wash?
let's uh, let's continue on and tell you guys about the kicker. We're gonna take it apart and show you guys how easy it is to install. All right, guys. Oh, tripod, backpack. So again, Sony factory speaker, sub, whatever you want to, whatever you want to call it. Let's show you guys. Okay, so there's a bracket that goes from here to here. It's obviously not installed. I don't even think you really need it, to be honest. So let's lift this. The okay. Clip, click. Two bolts, eight millimeters. Right there's the harness. The green plug is the factory plug for the factory sub. The new harness you get, that's the plug right there. Simple, simple. Clearly you can tell it's the kicker, 10 inch. And it just sets, you know, facing towards the floor. Maybe that kind of helps the passenger that's back here. But generally, I'm not gonna blare my music if somebody's back here unless I wanna mess with someone. So, literally, it's so simple to do this. Bam, hook up your holes. Now for the harness, you'll notice I cut this. You basically have to make an escape hole for it. I guess I could have used, tried to use the factory hole, but all I did was I made a hole, came down, pulled this up, and the harness is shooting up towards the firewall. WeatherTech, back. These things are like a pain sometimes. There she goes. Like I said, the harness comes down, runs up through this channel up here, and then here's where you're gonna get, right actually under here is where I made the connection for the signal wire off of just your factory speakers. I cannot remember which color is which. I actually messed up and didn't splice into the right one. No big deal. Aside from that, run it up, get it through, get it through the firewall. Is that correct? Come around. AC's blaring. Wrigley needs air conditioning because he is a bulldog. Your harness comes in. Harness comes in, plug it in, that's the fuse for it. Boom, done. That's the little mini halfway installation video. It's pretty simple. If you're looking for something that's gonna give you that bump, this is this is it. I just feel like the Ford, like Ford in general just restricts how loud your speaker system goes. So a lot of times I'm driving on the highway, if I'm driving like 50 miles an hour, I have my music blared all the way to max and it doesn't go any higher. So I was just trying to find something that was going to amplify it, but I didn't want to actually rip my doors apart and replace the speakers. The Sonys are, they're solid enough, but not the sub. The eight inch sub, no. The 10 inch kicker is like the perfect upgrade for you guys because for one, I like the minimalistic clean look under your seat it's not it's just not overkill I'm not trying to bump the whole neighborhood I just want something when I'm driving just to give me that bump when I'm you know listening to my rock music I don't ever really feel the need to actually turn it all the way up through my settings just because it you know it bumps that good so if you guys are looking to upgrade I 100% recommend this it just it gives your truck that that base that you're just you need you need in your life if you guys like this video hit that thumbs up button also Wrigley would love it if you would subscribe tell him see he's just he's not pouting he's just tired and he's tired of being in the truck if you guys have any questions comment down below hit that thumbs up button next video we are gonna swap something on the exterior of the truck should be here like I said tomorrow um, so be looking for a future video on that I'm kinda not sure if I'm going to like this upgrade or not. I think I'm going to. So I'm gonna need your guys' opinion as well. Wrigley, you're the closer. Tell him, hit the subscribe button. He said it. And...
forgot the camera again. Wrigley, you forgot the camera again.